There are two ways or two forms of charter change. Um, one is just an amendment of the Constitution. So basically, usually one provision or a group of provisions where you change one or two things. So for example, economic provisions, you just change it and say, instead of 60-40 or preference for Filipinos, it's now 100% ownership by foreigners are, are allowed. So that's an amendment. Or term limits, when you say that the president uh, can now uh, serve for 10 years, uh, uh, two terms each, uh, therefore you're changing the term from six years to five years, but with the election, that's an amendment. The other way of charter change is called uh, uh, revision, which is basically you revise the whole constitution. In other words, you come up with a new constitution, it's just not just an amended constitution. Uh, usually that you do that when you change the form of government from, let's say, what we now have is unitary presidential. You want to change it to, let's say, parliamentary and federal. How do you go about doing it? Uh, this is where the, the uh, ways or the modes of changing the constitution come about, uh, the procedural modes. First is constituent assembly. Congress by three-fourths of the vote of the House and the Senate can change the Constitution, voting separately. Number two, uh, through a constitutional convention, which Congress calls for, but the people drafting the Constitution are elected on their own right. And the third form is charter change through initiative and referendum, initiated by the people through a petition signed by certain percentage of voters all over the Philippines, total as well as specific districts, every district must be represented, and then presented to the COMELEC, not the Congress. Once the COMELEC sees that the required number of signatures are there, then they can call for a referendum on that proposed uh, amendment of the Constitution. The Supreme Court has ruled that you can only do amendments with uh, initiative and referendum. You cannot do revision. You cannot change the form of government. Because it's too complicated. You have to really change everything. And that's very difficult for people to understand in an initiative and referendum. Because they have to submit it to the people. Um, so only constituent assembly and constitution can do a wholesale revision of the constitution.